Hi guys, it's Mel here, the social media manager for McManum and Companies. I just got this in and I'm so excited to share with you guys that I just couldn't wait. So um, we just got this new vendor called Proggy Slayer and what it is, it's their little biospheres. It comes with everything you need, even a year's supply of food. Um, and it's to house African dwarf frogs. Um, and it's just super cool. So I have not even set it up yet. I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. Like I said, it comes with everything you need. Um, they have sent me um, the one gallon hex, but it also comes in the, in the classic model right here as well. Um, with the hex, you're gonna get two bags of sand. You're gonna get these little rocks. You're going to get two bags of these rocks. Hex also comes with this little bamboo plant, which is like the cutest thing ever. So there are a couple things that you need to set up your tank. Um, so the first thing you need is room temperature water. It needs to be distilled or purified, or you can also use um, tap water that's been treated with a dechlorinating water conditioner. So we just use purified water for ours. The next thing you need that kind of caught us off guard is a coffee lid. And we were like, well, why would you need a coffee lid? Well, once you read the directions, you understand why. So just make sure you have this on hand. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna do once you get all of your supplies is you're going to put the sand in the tank. And like I said, for the hex, you're going to have two bags of sand and two bags of rocks. But for the classic one, you only have one bag of each. Okay, so you wanna make sure that the sand is flat on the bottom so your rocks have a solid foundation to sit on. So we're just gonna spread the sand out. Okay, so next we're gonna put in the rocks. And I love that they sent us these like neon rainbow colors because it's just so much fun and I know it'll light up um, really nice with that LED light. Same thing, we're going to make sure we spread it evenly across the bottom. Now there is a tip on here to um, group the rocks together because it actually gives the frogs a little hiding place to hang out in. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna place the coffee cup lid for that we have right here, and we're gonna put it um, directly on the colored gravel upside down. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but what it's doing is it's slowing down the water and then it's kind of going over the sides a little bit and then through the hole. So it's slowly gonna fill up the tank and it's not going to stir up the sand um, and make the water cloudy. We're gonna keep filling this up until there is only about three or four inches um, from the top. We're gonna stop right there and we are going to go ahead and transfer uh, the bamboo into here. So here's our little bamboo friend. I mean, is this not the cutest thing? But what you wanna do with the bamboo is you're gonna push it into the rocks and into the sand and you're gonna kinda twist at the same time and you're gonna to continue to push it down until most of the roots are going to be covered by the rocks in the sand. Um, some of the roots might break during travel, uh, but bamboo is a really hardy plant, so it's, it's good, it's okay. So now is the part that makes me a little bit nervous, to be honest. Now we're going to pour our frogs and the water that they came in into our hex here. Okay, and I have not told our children about this. And they are going to be so excited. They've been asking for a fish forever. Um, but I just think that this is, this is way more fun than a fish, right? And there are these cute little frogs that swim everywhere and Okay, so 
so the frogs are in um the when i was putting the water and the frogs in i hit the the sand and the gravel um so now of course the water is cloudy but i will make sure to get a picture or video of when the sand settles and you can see how clear and beautiful it is so the next thing that we're going to do is put our led light on and it's going to slide um, right here on the lid and it's going to clip right here Oh. Look how little he is. So cute. Are you trying to find your brother, man? Let's see. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Hi, dude. Okay, so I found a place for the frogs. Um, it's recommended that you don't put them in direct sunlight, um, somewhere that's going to be a little bit darker, um, and not somewhere that's like right on an AC vent or heater vent um, because you want to maintain the water temperature. Okay, so as you can see, we have our little frogs on top of a dresser um, in the boys' room. They're pretty good about not throwing stuff around, so I'm not really worried about them hitting the tank. Okay, so something I haven't mentioned yet is um, these actually come with pair instructions as well as a year supply of food. So all of the elements work together to create uh, a filter-free ecosystem, which is great. And so, I mean, it's an easy pet to have, but it also teaches responsibility and it's not messy. It doesn't chew up your shoes. It doesn't pee on your floor. Um, we have a puppy. This pet is gonna be a breeze compared to him. So anyway. Um, the frogs can actually live to be five, uh, five years old. Oh, this would be great for our classroom, guys. Great. Teachers, hello. This you need.